When it comes to performance and durability, nothing beats a Detroit engine. It seems that Detroit is kind of sets the standard for all the engine manufacturers. It seems like they're always a step ahead of everybody. We set that standard through our quality processes, which include comprehensive testing and measurement of every new engine. And it doesn't end when the engine ships out. We stay on top of the quality checks even hundreds of thousands of miles down the road, testing our engines after years of use in a variety of applications and duty cycles is a critical step in making sure that Detroit engines meet and exceed the highest quality standards. After two and a half years of hauling 80,000 pounds across the USA, the Detroit diesel engineering team was made aware of this CR England fleet truck that had logged 760,000 miles. Under the hood was an EPA 07 Detroit DD-15. The DD-15 just made its debut in North America in 2008 when this particular engine was built. So exactly how well is the DD-15 holding up out in the real world? The engineers at Detroit Diesel wanted to find out. So they brought this one back to their labs to put it through rigorous inspection, testing and analysis. The engine is first instrumented with fuel, temperature and pressure sensors. In the dyno chamber, it's run on alternating loads for 100 hours. Horsepower and torque curves are measured and compared against the original factory ratings. Engineering lab technician Ken Karaim, with over 30 years of experience, checks the entire engine for signs of leaks. Normally you'll have soot tracking in the exhaust manifold area, or the oil pan to block joint will have oil wicking and tracking, which there is none. The flywheel housing gasket will show oil wicking and it's dry and clean. There's no road grime or anything attached to the engine. The valve covers will show oil wicking. The cylinder head covers will sometimes leak and show it. The flywheel housing is bone dry. Joint all the way around. Fuel pump, air compressor, no seal or gasket leaking. And again, the rocker cover and cam frame is bone dry, no leaking. That's the main points of leak pass, and there, there are none. It's dry. Kareem performs a soap leak test to look for escaping air, and the engine is clean. That's impressive. That's very impressive. That's it. The head is removed, as is the piston dome. All the components that I removed look like they had only 100,000 miles on them. Next up is the bearing inspection. There's no dirt scratching, no polishing, no low spots. The bearing's flawless. The pistons are inspected. Again, light normal wear. No stuck rings. Rings are all free. Nice free pin. He next inspects the connecting rods and main bearings, finding no significant wear. Light load polishing, dirt scratch. That's it. At first glance, the crankshaft looks very clean, but Kareem intends to look further and finds no witness marks, no scratching, and no wear. And the thrust bearings? Looks like they just came out of the box. The clean, high quality condition of the engine is further evident with a closer look inside of the cylinder liners and then an inspection of the upper crank bearings. This thing looks brand new, dude. There's nothing, nothing. And where the cams actually ride in the cam frame, there's no wear in that area either. The rubber seals in the head gasket are still intact with no leak paths. I haven't seen anything that would raise a red flag. Um, the motor's pretty much flawless. Three years, 760,000 miles, and this DD-15 engine still passes every test with flying colors. Dealer techs weigh in. This uh, truck here didn't even have any issues with it. It just keeps on going. The DD-15 was designed with EPA 2010 regulations in mind. Today's base engine is basically unchanged from its introduction as an EPA 07 engine. 
The main difference is that the current DD-15 delivers even better fuel economy than the EPA-07 version, up to 5% better. Uh, we're getting a lot more guys running this DD engine for the fact of uh, the fuel mileage. They're getting a lot better fuel mileage out of this engine, which, you know, that saves them a lot of money. And it's a, it's a long-lasting motor, so that saves them money in that aspect, too. Detroit engine customers demand quality this good, and they get it. And the process shown here is no isolated case. Thorough testing of engines after years of use is an essential step in our total quality processes. It helps ensure that we achieve the highest level of quality, engine after engine, year after year. That's durability. That's performance. That's Detroit.